Okay, well, hi everyone, and thank you very much for watching or listening. Liam Hartry here today with another episode of Presenting Champions for the Simply Inspired podcast. And today I'm joined by the founder, owner, and creator of Spartan Bare Knuckle Fight Club, Christian Roberts, the main man. And what's super cool about this is today we're not only going to be talking about Spartan itself and how it's grown uh, up the levels with a lot more fighters, with pay per view, with an amazing venue, and all the things that are happening there, but we're also going to be talking about a new promotion that Christian is launching uh, called YouTube Wars and this is going to be coming very soon it's very very exciting so um, everybody stay tuned and mate I'd just like to say thank you for coming back on the show and it's always a pleasure to have you on the show thanks for having me um, as it's well not documented you're only one of maybe one or two I'll give an interview to the rest of them really interested but always a pleasure to come on with you sir Ah, uh, well, feelings mutual, absolutely. And um, yeah, I think we've talked like this uh, probably the most times out of anyone I've interviewed. So it's uh, it's pretty wild, but all very, very cool. So um, starting at the beginning, I mean, a new brand, um, a new company that you're launching, YouTube Wars. I only just found out about it when you when you told me about it a couple of days ago. Uh, a lot of people are going to be hearing about this for the first time with this talk. So just take it away with um, basically what that's going to be. Um, let's start there. Yeah, man. So um, I was approached a couple of weeks ago by a chap um, before my show, my last show with Spartan, saying that he had an idea of a concept of a... So, the work and we met come down he drove three hours down to see me so he was keen so yeah we, we we sat down and we had a bit of a meet and it turned out that he'd had a former business partner who'd run with his idea and left him in the dark and in the cold um we won't go into that but you know he, he, he gave his pitch to me and you know we said i need you to do this for me and i can do this for you and i can do this for you and you can do this for me he's a really nice kid you know uh, his name's simon kirk you're watching shout out um it was his child um youtube so, I don't know what it is. it's going to be youtube celebrities or well, people who are successful on youtube could even make an appearance for you earlier um and and what they're going to do is they've got beef or do they want to fight each other then we're going to put them in a 10 foot by 10 foot boxing ring and they can box bare knuckle on youtube wars so that's how the concept is um and that's what it's going to be Absolutely. That's amazing. I mean, like I said to you before, riding the wave of uh, all of this YouTube boxing that's going on is getting massive now, but doing that in bare knuckle format is going to be uh, pretty incredible. And yeah, you know, with the following of some of these guys, um, it could be absolutely amazing. So these are then going to be separate shows to the Spartan shows then, or are they sort of going to be combined under the same um, the same banner, the same event, or are they going to be different events at different times? They're going to be completely different events. Um... You know, will I ever put some on Spartan? Well, I'm about to launch my fight card for Spartan 14 later, and I can tell you there is a YouTube fight on there. So, you know, um, I've introduced it to this show, but uh, the main thing is we're going to keep them separate. Um, and YouTube Wars is it's a standalone entity that myself and you know Simon are going to really push. Absolutely incredible. Okay. So obviously fighters who, uh, or well, I say fighters, you know, but YouTube celebrities who want to be fighters, you know, whether they've got experience before or not, how can they contact you? How can they get in touch with you? What's going to be the, the format for like recruiting people to um, to compete and everything? Well, Simon's got a lot of contacts in that world, uh, the YouTube world. He knows a lot of the YouTube celebs. So, you know, I'm, I'm sure he's already working behind the scenes to make sure that happens. Failing that. We started a Facebook page now, YouTube Wars. We've got a, we'll have a TikTok, Instagram, you know, we'll be all over all the, the, the different uh, social media. So we'll be able to get all of us. You know, you know who I am on Facebook, Christian Roberts. Even if you come through Spartan to get to, you know, the others, just hit Spartan up and we'll direct it to Simon or myself. You know, uh, yeah, it'll just be the same, same kind of format as the social media as Spartan, you know, but um, obviously YouTube Wars. So anybody, looking to get in touch and um, get on it let's do it man yeah absolutely so what do you think the timeline is going to be i mean at the time of this interview for anyone who's watching it later we're talking sort of early april um obviously 23 so in terms of like when you'd envision the first show being up and running do you have a, like a time scale for that at the moment we'll have had a first show by the end of summer 
Okay. Yeah. So we're not messing about, you know. Um, the company is now registered legally uh, between ourselves. Um, everything will be done legally with this company, you know. I know there's other companies doing kind of illegal stuff out there and stuff like that, but we don't want to go that route. We want to we want to stay on the legal route. We want to make sure fighter safety is paramount, you know. So we'll be doing everything I do with Spartan will be done exactly the same with YouTube Wars, only obviously they'll be using a very small ring, not a pit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, incredible. So, uh, yeah, summertime, first show, amazing. And obviously you're going to be running um, Spartan and this, and I know obviously uh, Simon's involved and you'll have the help there, but you're effectively going to be also involved in running two companies side by side. So, I mean, on a personal level, how do you feel about that with, I know you're a man who can handle a lot of workload. I know you've got a great team around you. You've got some great people around you. So shout out to all of them. But seriously, on a personal level, how are you going to manage running two companies side by side type of thing, you know? Well, first and foremost, again, Massive shout out to the team I have around me because I tell you, you know, they do a lot. Um, I'm just a face really in the ship, but you know, um, shout out to them. But yeah, um, it'd be no different. You know, I mean, you, you, you've got to remember we've just had Spartan Wars 13. Uh, well, a couple of weeks later, I'm about to launch my fight card, get my tickets out. So I've done that pretty much on my own, match the fights, you know, everything sorted out, venue book. Everything's on arrival, bales, barriers, you know, medics that we rebook. Pretty much the same for that. I can do that and then Simon can take over that while I'm doing the Spartan. But I'll be flitting back and forth and Simon will be working alongside me, so he'll learn how to do that himself anyway. So, you know, yeah, you know, he's keen to learn, he's ambitious, this young kid, you know, and he's he's he wants to he wants to make a name for himself in the sport and you know, he, he's reached out to me and said, you know, I know it's a lot to ask because you're already running one and you're doing it. It doesn't take that much to, to, to plan the show. I mean, your team are massively important on the day because you're one person. Yeah, but one person can plan a show. You just can't carry it out. So I don't see my workload changing much. Um, obviously, I'll have a little bit more on it. Building these fights and matching these fights between YouTubers is going to be a little bit more difficult than fighters with records. But, you know, uh, there's no sweet science in what they're doing. If they're in the ring and they're going to have a fight, you don't like the other guy. So, you know, they'll pretty much match themselves. So, you know, I, don't know, I think it'll be all right. I don't think, I don't see myself being under any pressure than I already am. Um, but in Spartan, it doesn't get bigger than that. So, you know, this is just a, it'll be a nice welcome break. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> you know what i got to say? Christian, you got to be one of the hardest working promoters in the UK. I mean, you know what they used to say about uh, James Brown back in the day, the hardest working man in, in showbiz. And that's, you know, that's like yourself, really, uh, one of the hardest working men in the fight game. So fair play to you. And as I always say, you know, the work you're doing, giving opportunity to these guys, because talking about Spartan now, I mean, obviously I have a lot of guys on the show and the amount of people where it saved their lives, you know, I mean, excuse me, this is getting over a bad chest, but yeah, you know, the amount of guys who say it's uh, it's saved their lives, it's turned their lives around from negative to positive, it's made things possible for them, and I know that's a 50-50 thing, you know, you give them the opportunity, they have to walk through the door and put the work in, but at the same time, you know, I got a lot of respect for that, and I got a lot of respect for how you um, basically are keeping pushing, keeping going, keeping um, building a dream. On the subject of that, let's talk a little bit about Spartan because it has come a long way. I mean, you've got an amazing venue in Bradford. You've got uh, a massive list of fighters that's growing all the time. Uh, you've got so many good things happening. You've got pay-per-view. You've got uh, great commentary and everything I was looking at with the last show. You've got so many things going on. How do you feel personally? How proud do you feel of where it started to where you built the company to, you know, right now in 2023? Um, it's it's funny that because my friend said I've got a friend behind the scenes. His name's Kevin. Shout out Kevin Baldwin. Um, we grew up as kids, you know. We lost touch for twenty odd years, and we just recently got back in touch. And he said the same thing from what he's seen on you know it's come so far. And how do you feel about it? Well, the truthful answer is, I can't see how far it's come. Um, I never really wallowing that really there's no time you know Spartan 13 was over on Saturday and on Monday morning I had the registration post up you know 
I'm a, I'm a great believer in just keep your head down and work. You know, you, you keep working, keep working, keep working. When you look up, you've changed location. So it's it's a massive, a huge testament to just how the team around me are. Um, you know, they put in thankless effort. You know, every one of them, Robbie Adamson, Crystal Adamson, who've now gone on to different things, but, you know, the work in the background, and Nathan Dixon, and everybody else around me as well. It's huge, man. The, the important thing to note is, yes, it's come a long way. No, I couldn't have done it without anybody else. But it has come a long way. And, and the one thing I'm proud of is just the, more than anything is the closeness of this family in, um, within a fight club. It's crazy. I put a post up the other week, a uh, conversation guys who've never met. They're not in the same weight division. No reason to talk to each other. One's a champion. One lost his fight. The champion's on his wall on the Monday saying to him, get your chin up. You're a tough guy, you know. You're going to win a lot more than you lose the pit. You can't teach that. You can't teach it. You can't buy it. You know, that's one of our champions. He's got no reason to talk to somebody who's not even in his, in his eye line, you know, but he's took time out of his day to go message him and pick him up. And that's just, that makes me the proudest I could ever be is the closeness, the willingness to help each other. You know, it, it's the fights are good. People like watching the fights. Who doesn't like violence? You know, the, the fights are good. You've got to be on that because what you've got is guys here trying to take each other's heads off, but at the same time, they'd stand in front of a car for each other. Show me someone else who's got that going on. Absolutely. I mean, uh, again, you know, when I'm talking to guys on the show, that always comes up time and time again. Um, starting with the respect element, but then moving way beyond that into, like you say, like a friendship, a brotherhood, a family, you know, uh, whatever word you want to use for it, you know, all that type of thing and, and the closeness. And yeah, I see it on social media as well. I saw one recently where a particular fighter put up a post that was, you know, was sort of quite low. He was obviously having a bad time and everything. And um, loads of people were just pouring in there, uh, all different weight categories, you know, people who've been with the company all different time periods and everything, just pouring in there, just helping him, you know, keep your chin up, keep going and all this type of thing. And it's just, it's an amazing thing. And it's something that you've you've created. And obviously then they carry, they carry forward. They have the choice to carry forward. So it's absolutely amazing. Talk to us a little bit about some of your plans with um spartan itself you know for like i don't know how far ahead you want to go maybe till the end of the year or something you know the next few months and some of the plans you've got it would be awesome to, to hear about uh where things are going from here with that as well well I, yeah all right well we'll give you a bit of an explanation we we kind of i've been working on an idea now for the last year you know, but with any idea it, it's got to be feasible for all parties so you know, that's where, why it's took a year. But I believe at the end of summer, new bloods will already be released then, and it'll be fine. It's not always going to be newcomers. It's going to be people who aren't doing very well in the company with the fight results and stuff. So what we're about to create at the end of summer is like a league. So if you're on the pay-per-view main events, you'll be on more, you'll be on uh, new bloods. Plugs isn't pay per view. But what we're going to start doing is we're going to start having regular meetings every three months to six months, sitting down. I will sit down with the runner of New Bloods and they'll sit down with me. And then we'll see who deserves to go up and who deserves to come down. So we're about to create pretty much the atmosphere where you are fighting for survival. So the people who are in the bottom tier are going to want to fight really hard to come up into the big money and on pay-per-view around the world to showcase the skills. The people who are already there aren't going to want to go down and lose money and they're not going to want to come off pay-per-view. So they should all be fighting really hard for the futures. So I think it'll make it ultra competitive. Um, and it will definitely help us match better fights in the future. That's for sure. So that's one of the plans um, to create like a league two leagues where you go up and down. So we don't believe anyone else is doing that. Uh, and we just believe it keeps the fighters honest, you know? Yeah. Well, I love that. I mean, the the sort of the psychological aspect of what you're saying there, like bringing out the best in people and, and all that type of thing. Um, 
great idea. I mean, really, really good. And uh, yeah, that will make for some cracking fights just from, um, well, as you say, just on the mentality, it's got to bring out, um, get people in beast mode, get people, you know, giving it 100%. And yeah, I love it. Very, very cool. Um, we need to give a shout out as well to, you know, sponsors, people who support you. Um, obviously, you're doing a lot of work. But as I said earlier, you know, no man is an island and, and everyone else has got to sort of come halfway. They've got to put their bit in. I know you've got uh, an amazing team of, of loyal people uh, around you um, who do that. So let's give a shout out to some of those people um, and give them, you know, the yeah, credit. As, as, as Spartan. He's going to be the first Ash Spartan. I mean, Robbie and Crystal have departed now for uh, projects they want to follow, but Robbie and Crystal over the last couple of years, listen, you don't get any better than those guys. Uh, they've really helped me out now. Uh, Nathan Dixon behind the scenes is always chasing things up for me and getting things sorted. Just all of them in general. They all know who they are. The team, we always pass it over. Sponsors, Scott with Shellfish, uh, A2 Clean, all of them. They, they, they all support us. You know, we, we love them all, man. Um, without them, we're nothing. But most of all, fighters are next level at the moment. Just to God, training, uh, the way they're getting rid of the tickets and getting everything done before showtime. You know, everything's improved 200%, you know. Um, and, and I can't thank them enough for that, fighters. But most of all, as well, the fans. You know, they're the ones who go out and work every week and they buy the, the tickets with the hard earned money and, and they come and they've supported me through thick and thin, whether I've been in a fucking field with cows around them or whether I've been in a four star hotel with all the pay per view on. But there, man, they never fail. You know, um, I can tell you now the tickets don't go on sale till this Monday for Spawn Wars 14. And that's got sold out. Wow. It's gone. So. That's, again, testament to the level of commitment to the fans to want this company to do well, to want you know, these fights to do well. You know, I'll, I'll never take praise for what Spartan do because, you know, I created a platform, but the people who run that platform and, and fight on that platform are the ones that make it work, you know? So I'll never take the credit in that respect. But what I will say is between fighters and fans, they're the ones who are elevating this company. The fans... You know, these fighters, let me tell you, I know you've been to a show in person yet, but when you do, and you're standing 20 metres away from them railings, and you can hear that bone on bone, listen, these boys deserve to be on fucking suckers, man. This, is, this isn't a place for fools. These people are really hurting each other, you know? So the work that I do tirelessly for Spartan, I just feel I owe to them. So I'm never going to waver. I'm always going to push. And I won't rest until we're the biggest out there and the best out there. And these boys have got the best of everything. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, this is something I love. Like I said before, you know, I got the respect for the passion that you have for what you do and everything. And it's, you know, it's something we don't see enough in the world today. I mean, it's as simple as that. You know, a lot of people, um, you know, they try something for a little while. If it doesn't go exactly how they want they give up the ghost and, you know, that's the end of that, you know, whereas with you, you know, you've ridden out the highs and lows, you know, you've, you've got it to a high level. The best is still yet to come. But at the same time, you know, I just I got so much respect for your passion. Very, very excited to see um, what the rest of the journey holds. As you say, you know, can't wait to come to a show as well. Um, but I'm. Um, you know, following everything, um, can't wait to have more lads on the show as well. Um, and you know, they're all welcome. Anyone I haven't done yet, so all good things. Um, I want to thank you for coming back on here. Um, I want to thank you for sharing everything you've shared. And um, you know, like after the first YouTube war show, or sometime in the near future when there's more to share, we'll do another one of these and we'll sort of update everybody and and all that. You know how it goes. So um, I look forward to that day as well. I also want to say before I go as well that um, we're currently in talks and it looks like we could be getting a documentary on TV. So, again, lads, that's the exposure they deserve. And uh, and that's just test to how well we're supported, how we're represented, you know, both fighters and fans. You know, I want a big shout out again for the last show with all the uh, stuff going on in other organisations where there's been trouble at the shows and fights in the crowd, I just want to say to the fans again, absolutely outstanding. Spartan Wars 13, not so much as an argument, not so much as a moan or a groan. You know, they come, 
to watch, to leave, and enjoy. Best fans in BKB by a million miles. Far on. Anna, to yourself, thanks for having me back on, sir. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Uh, likewise, likewise. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. And uh, obviously, it's always great to hear about all the business stuff and everything. But just personally, it's always great to catch up and always enjoy our chats and everything. So absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe to the Simply Inspired YouTube channel and there'll be more videos coming soon.